Apex Shadow Generation. Wait, 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 wait. Stop, 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 stop everything, stop everything, stop everything, stop everything, stop everything, stop everything, stop everything. The collection of 3D and 2D levels from Sonic and Shadow's history. Now it's time for a glimpse of Shadow's brand new powers and gameplay from a standalone stop campaign. Stop everything, stop everything, stop everything. As well everything. as the official release date announcement. Stop everything, stop. Ah. Okay, okay, Jerry, okay, okay, I haven't stopped. Okay, generations. Okay, Dragoon. But my heart beats yeah. so hard. Okay, Speed Highway. Ah. Crack on City. Okay, Seaside Hill. Hold up. Oh, we're analyzing this right after. Wait a minute. Sorry, dude. What? Hold up, hold up, okay, okay. Yeah, okay, speed highway, wait, wait, okay, Dude, oh my goodness. We gotta go back, we have to go back. Oh my goodness. Chat. Oh my goodness. Okay, the arc. Sonic Heroes, dude, it's Sonic Heroes. And, wait, can you... Sonic 06, bro, Sonic, uh, uh, 06, 06, I do not expect Sonic, bro. Peanut Valley. Dude, oh my goodness. I'm probably gonna skip the Sonic. I'm probably gonna skip the Sonic Generation stuff. I don't care about the Shadow stuff. What? Wait, wait, wait. Sonic. Let's analyze this. Let me know if you spot anything else in here. So, first things first. Um, Egg Dragoon. Egg Dragoon. We see Egg Dragoon here. Um, nothing really, nothing really major there. Nothing really big there. So speed, speed highway, crisis city, all the other, all the old stages, all the old stages. So nothing, nothing really big here. It looks, it, again, okay. Do we see much of a difference here, chat? Do we see much of a difference here? Let me know. Do you see this? Do you see a difference in the graphics? Because I don't. Like even in my video I made back in February, I didn't see much of a difference at all. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. That bl hold up, hold up, hold on. Did they redo time meter? Hold up. Did they do time meter again? Okay, um, chat, help me out here. What's the stage from Sonic Heroes? It's good that Sonic Heroes is getting recognition. It's good getting recognition. It's good. Um, dude. Okay. Okay, we got speed boost. This, is, this looks so good, dude. This looks so clean. This looks so clean. Looks like forces. I mean, a little bit it does. A little bit. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Wait, what? Wait, what was that? Was that like a slowdown ability? That looked like, um, yeah, dude, what? What is this ability? This has got to be like part. It's got to be the cast control. They, uh, they got to have upgraded the cast control. Dude, this, this has to be the cast control. This looks so sick. It looks like colors. A little bit. It looks like colors a little bit. Yeah, it does. A little bit. Okay, we're on the arc. Dude, okay, so that looks pretty good. You have the arc. Um, and then we got more Sonic Heroes. Kingdom Valley from Sonic 06. I would have never imagined in so many years that they would do. There's a Terio skin. Yeah, Terio skin. Dude, that looks sick. Wait, what? Wait, guys, Terio skin. Okay, so Kingdom oh, Valley. No, not this looks so clean, though, guys. Oh my goodness. So, dude, they really. Look at how. These, dude. Sonic 06 was remastered by Sega, officially. And basically, Project 06. And actually, Project 06 is basically the OG um, Sonic 06, but better. But, dude. Remastered 06 stage, bro. Uh, uh, too bad it's like side by. Okay, so here's the chaos control ability right there. That is the, obviously the chaos control ability right there. I haven't seen uh, chaos spear at all from Shadow's abilities yet. I, we saw it in the um, during the Bio Lizard in the first trailer that we saw um, from earlier this year. But um, whoa, whoa, this they go way too, dude. They go way too fast, dude. Okay, so rail grinding, obviously one ultimate collection. I don't think we have gun shadow boys. Hold on, chat. There's still a chance. There's still a chance. Dude, this right here is crazy. Every with this power. Bro. Black Doom. Inside of Shadow. Dude, this is going to be peak. It's over. It's over. Dude, this is going to be so sick. And what was the release date? I didn't even see the release date at all yet. Hold on. October 25th, dude. Halloween game. Halloween game. There we go. Halloween game. And then... Dude, these renders look clean. Oh. That's seriously the box art. Is that actually the box art? Is that actually the box art? Come on, man. You couldn't have redone like the models for Sonic and Classic Sonic. I saw which includes bonus places and exclusive extended prologue animations with deleted scenes. No way. Are you serious? That's cool. That's 
Kind of sucks you locking it behind PlayStation. The Sonic that's why Sonic Adventure was trending on Twitter last night. That is awesome that they're doing the Sonic Adventure skin. That is sick. That is awesome. I love this. Sega, I love you. And then J Robonics. J Robonics journal dude. I need this. I need this in my life. I need this. I, chat. Bro, we doing this day one. I will I will dissect this for my review of this game. And do you better know? You better bet. I'm making a review of this game. Tomb skin! You're right, guys! Oh my gosh! Additional level and skin for Shadow. We're releasing Holiday 2024. Okay, so skill points for the Oma Chow uh, shop. The skill shop. And then extra background music. Digital art book OST. Dude, this is so sick. And pre orders open. Pre orders open now. Y'all know. I'm pre ordering this next week. Y'all know it. Y'all know it. Y'all. I'm getting a physical for this, too. Physical, hands down. <laughs> But that is not all we have with Sonic X Shadow Generations news, as Sega has just dropped a whole bunch of news all over the place from PlayStation blogs to Twitter and even on PlayStation Store and even on their own official website. We're going to take a look at all that right now for the second part of this analysis, because you thought we were done? No, there's a whole lot more to go through, so let's go through it right now. So first off, I want to talk about these clean renders, because look how clean this looks. The scrapes on Shadow's shoes, like, dude, look at the detail on the fur, and dude, look at these, dude, look at these new Sonic Generations renders. Like, look, look at the boys, look at the boys. These look so clean. These look so clean, and I love it. I love it. Sega, thumbs up for me. This looks awesome. This looks incredible. But of course, I want to focus on the Shadow Generation stuff because the Sonic Generation stuff is basically the same thing um, that we know know of before. So let's read the features. So, Return of Shadow. In this new standalone campaign, Shadow's nemesis Black Doom has re-emerged and threatens to take over the world once again. Shadow must journey into his past, confront his painful memories, and unlock dark powers to save the world. Yeah, so we don't really know exactly how Black Doom comes back because we defeated him in Shadow 05. So we don't really know exactly how Shadow came back, but I guess we're going to find out. Maybe it's from the Time Eater, who knows? Because well, I say the Time Eater because if we scroll down... By explore the new white space, stretch your legs in an all new hub world inspired by the open zone gameplay of Sonic Frontiers. So this right here kind of tells me that my prediction for my Sonic Gen X Shadow Generations from video from earlier this year was correct. We are going through the white void in time and space through Shadow's perspective instead. So I was kind of right, which kind of makes me feel a little bit better about a little bit better about my um, my video and how confident I am in my predictions. Because at first I thought it was kind of a dumb idea, but now it kind of makes sense. And I'm kind of glad they're taking this approach. It makes a lot of sense, and I'm really excited about that. And the fact that they're continuing the open zone gameplay of Sonic Frontiers in this concept with Shadow and it's sort of a Bowser's Fury kind of style is kind of sick. This is kind of pretty much what I expected from Sonic and Shadow Generations. But it's, it's really cool that Sega is taking this approach. With Shadow, um, and heck, even even looking at this, even looking at this image, this image alone, like, just tells you straight away, yeah, they're they're, they're taking they're taking that direction, and honestly, it kind of gives me like, it gives me a little bit of, it kind of looks like Soliano a little bit, if, if if you know what I mean. I mean, it's probably a bit of a far stretch, but is it just me or just does not look like a bit of Soliana and like um, Anspagonia, Anspagonia as well, so. I don't know. Let me guys. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. What do you guys think this is based off of? Or you guys think this is an original uh, uh, level concept uh, for the Sonic series that we've never seen before? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments down below. I would love to hear more about it, about what you guys think about this. And journey through time and dimensions. Experience the ultimate showdown between Shadow and Black Doom in a new boss battle that will test your skills and reflexes. Use all of Shadow's abilities to defeat Black Doom and save the world. And then Shadow evolved. Now this caught me off guard. Shadow. Now having like bat wings, literally like venom wings from Spider-Man 2. Like, what is this? Dude, this is absolutely crazy. So this kind of tells me that Black Doom's abilities are inside of Shadow because of how Black Doom's blood is inside Shadow. Kind of makes me feel like Shadow's unleashing his ultimate potential that he's been holding back for all these years. And we're finally going to see that full potential be used to the max. And I'm so excited to see where Sega takes that from here. Uh, from this point forward, it's really good. I'm saying Sonic Team be cooking. Sonic Team, I'm just gonna say right now, Sonic Team is cooking something great right now, and I'm so stoked for that. Even the Sonic Good Japan Twitter account gives us a little bit more uh, details about how Black Doom is back, and not really, it doesn't really explain how Black Doom is back, but it kind of hints to the fact. Well, let's just read it first, and you'll see what I mean. Um, a mysterious shadow targets Shadow, a uh, black hedgehog born as the ultimate life form. The evil super life form, Black Doom, who once plotted to take over the world but was defeated by Shadow, is now on the move again. Now, this kind of hints to the fact that, again, we are still in this time, this white void of time and space. It kind of, it doesn't sound like a hint at it, but to me, it kind of supports 
that theory a little bit more. And I, at this point, it's at this point, I feel like it's kind of confirmed that this is this is basically the plot of Sonic Generations from Shadow's perspective and through Shadow's own past and story. So I'm glad that Sega's taking this perspective with that. I'm glad Sonic the team is um, taking this direction with it. Um, and honestly, I'm all down for it. I'm all down for it. And in this screenshot here, we see Chow in the background here, which we've never seen before during this cutscene in the game. Um, so my question is. Do we finally get the Chow Garden back? From what I've heard, it is not the Chow Garden, but instead, if we go over to the PlayStation vlog for the Chow, they stay here. You can also enjoy new collectibles, bonus content, and more, including a Chow rescue mission in every level in the return of high energy pinball gameplay in Casino Night Zone. And then, if we take a look at the pre order bonuses here, like I mentioned on stream, you'll be able to play it three days early, which is, you know, whatever. I mean, that's pretty spot. I mean, an additional level and skin for Shadow, which I'm guessing is the Terio skin, which looks absolutely sick. I'm glad they're showing Beta Shadow and showing the love for him. Let's go. And the skill points for the skill shop with Omen Chow. Uh, a lot of people are thinking this is like some extra thing for like a Shadow Garden or whatnot. No, it's for the skill points. It's for the skill point shop in um, Sonic Generations. For Vanilla Sonic Generations. Nothing special for um, the Chow expansion. So for those who thought it was for something new, it's not. It's for the skill shop. I already know it. And an extra background music pack, which apparently contains music from um, Sonic Adventure 2 and whatnot. So um, definitely looking forward to that. And a digital art book and OST. And yeah, that is pretty much... Um, all includes, although, we have the goaded skin, the goaded Sonic Adventure Legacy skin, which I'm super glad that they're inclu including, um, this, uh, specifically this skin, because honestly, Sonic Adventure is goaded, it's one of my favorite Sonic, it's one of my top three's favorite Sonic games, so, good day, Adventure's getting the love and support that it deserves, even though it's not a Sonic Adventure remake, it's just something, it's close to it, you know? <laughs> But yeah, what do you guys think about Sonic X Shadow Generations? What do you guys think about this new trailer just dropped with all this news? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments down below about what you guys think of the trailer, what you guys saw that I missed, anything else like that. Let me know in the comments down below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you happen to enjoy something out of it, make sure you leave a like down below. And as always, helps with the algorithm and subscribe for more Sonic and Nintendo content. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, everybody.